the information where they reach us right now now how funanis they carry their cow enter people farm for the place where they call umaya for back of park <laughs> no be smart you know people women will leave for that side don't come outside they cry say hey they don't their farm don't finish oh i beg go make people come for their rescue because said the farm where they suffer borrow money do everything do now these people carry cow enter go destroy the farm hmm. no be smart in as that one they happen one of our yoruba brother don't come outside though he told say that he no one may be france go he want to remain uh, in one nigeria with the biafra people because they are loving people Igbo people to be precise <laughs> no be smart in now come tell and say no <laughs> this one way they talk you know go fee happen because a biafra want to be on their own nigeria is not working for anybody however we'll go find out how this intake they happen hello my wonderful people welcome back to balabas gc if it's not the first time they come across this wonderful channel you are highly welcome we see the head they bring up that back to back i see they hurt yeah my wonderful people <laughs> share this video and make sure say this video go to the whole platform that you want it to reach because you know good my person go borrow money or women our women to go so far finish can't go do farm now funanis will carry their farm enter inside that farm their farm will chop everything ready for inside the farm this kind of thing where they happen you know good ESN, where are you people? Biafra Liberation Army, where are you people? There's something need to be done in this part of Omaha where the farm they carry, they, they carry farm, go the uh, cow, go the chop people farm where they suffer do. I want to play the video where these women and our brothers the lamen put for this matter. And before we will come back, come proceed. Watch the video together with me. Onyenta. Then I know them, and then I'm here. Yeah, we're here. Men are oh my here now. New timber now. So upstate line now. New timber. Yeah, I'm here. Men are total. Yeah, what will matter? Boro not total. I was a Zoku Bondo Neku and Cabo Apple one year. There are not total. They are one Tatabo 11th of January 2024. I know I've my eye about one. He had handed full and name in a now. No more. I have gone gone. Nazola, Obruni, Lang, you got out in here. Oh, as you are only now. Where about all timber, timber shade as up still line. You lay there now. Hot about what all on mud. Yeah, one on one yet. Ah, oh, born or not to us. No, on the full and how to the number that about any more. Yeah, you will only have for sure. Yeah, one and I'm again here. One of mother has here and has here. Sorry, but on my half war after half water. Yeah, half water. Yama Allah, I'm not alone or not to a lot. A lot of that. Look what her lot of that. Chakra number her lot of thoughts on you for she do born nuclear. Name your number. Ha ha nata. No, look where the queer Anna Mama on a child. What a bossy. Yeah, she nama. I get on my hand, she now comes or awful. The queer evidence, no hide the river. Yeah, nine and whereby now when she nama. I comes or awful. We're wagging a woo wack a hack as ye bap war. Kaha redica, because two pum na bena and yahoo pageha. The queer on one yet at our home. Bazidego, and car will pay no ni more no call here. And car was in no law. Now Zutimba inside the town. Yeah, company name a pure water. Wizzy Star Company name a pure water. Up and on one year, no here, one year one. And what, madam, would all know you cool car, umban, one year, no, 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 I be a state, no, no, in here be a quitter. I know, I bought on a lot of money, no, or two ever. The authorities of this particular area should do something about this because this is a totally unacceptable by these women. Where they go borrow money, finish, come do their farm, and person go carry cow, come they eat them. 
Not be smart, you know, my people. This kind of thing is no good. But however, share the video. Yeah, my wonderful people. Let's jump into the next of news where we get for our hands today. <laughs> this is our brother. We say he don't give himself Nemo as an Igbo man. But now Yoruba, he don't come aside. He can't talk so many things. What well, may you list him for inside this video? But he get one to wait talk for there. We talk say he want you know what men and Julia divide. Eh? He want me to stay together. My brother, the Igbos have been Nigeria, the most Nigerians in Nigeria. But when you push people so much, they will not be talking about second phase. And this is what, where we are today, that the Igbos have made up their minds to go and be their, in their own nation called Biafra. So I don't think that, will, that your dream will be realized. But however, let's watch this video and we'll come back come proceed i just love the Igbos, man i just love them i'm yoruba proudly yoruba but then if i was to choose another tribe i think i would choose to be Igbo. five business lessons i learned from the Igbos in nigeria i hope you like my outfits today i'm coming to you as obina adisa <laughs> as opposed to femi adisa i'm wearing the Igbo outfit today because the video is dedicated to Igbos. all my Igbo people Igbo kwenu Hey, Kwenu, hey, Kwenzenu, hey, hey, hey. All right, man, I love the Igbo people very much. I feel, I believe, and I'm sure that I'm correct, that they're the best business people in Nigeria. And the honest truth is that the Igbos are making Nigeria run. Why? Because they are the ones who ensure that we have all the electronics that we need in Nigeria. They're the ones who ensure that we have all the clothes that we need in Nigeria. Practically everything that we import into Nigeria, almost 80%, if not 90%, is imported by Igbo people, all right? Practically every market in Nigeria is run by the Igbos. You go to a Laba market, every international market especially, you go to a Laba market, you find the Igbos dominating the place. You go to a Rile market, you find the Igbos dominating the place. You go to a Kodumota, you find the Igbos dominating the place. And not to talk about Onisha, Iweka Road, Onisha, and all those other <laughs> nice places in Nigeria. The Igbos are wonderful people. They are keeping our country running. And and so I don't want them to be separated. I want us to live together in unity. All right. So these are five things that I learned from the Igbos. And my mentor, Dr. Cosmas Maduka, is an Igbo entrepreneur. So the three good qualities about the Igbos that I really, really like about them. Number one is that the Igbos are united. They bring a united front to anything. To them, collaboration is more important than competition. All right. So we could be selling the same thing, but we collaborate and then we all grow and become big rather than just competition. I don't want to talk about the other tribes, actually Yorubas and how we are with competition. <laughs> but then that's one major strategy of the Igbos, all right? So the Igbos always try to lift each other up, okay? Even if we're colleagues, we'll all come together to try and lift each other up. That's one major strength that I feel like every tribe and everybody should really do. And that's majorly what we do in the Babi Kabilune Club. In the Babi Kabilune Club, we're all rooting for each other. We're all helping each other to succeed. We're all helping each other to market our product. We're all, we're all giving each other advice. There are people in the Babi Kabilune Club whose businesses are named by other members of the club. Why? Because we all came together and said, okay, how? what name are we going to give to this business? All right? And then we all just kept giving ideas and all that sort of thing somebody says, oh yeah i think that one just works and everybody says yeah that works okay go with that all right so if you really want that kind of um team around you you really want people that can root for you every time and help you to grow people that you can ask to help you check stuff and then do stuff and all that stuff man come on join the biblical billionaire club it's absolutely free to join the general club and it's just two thousand naira per month or twenty thousand naira per year to join the premium club the links are in the description below right there okay now the second very good thing i like about the ebooks is that they always learn from someone before they launch out an evil man does not just start a business by himself because he had an idea and he just goes and goes and said no he would first first look for someone else who is doing that stuff already or something close to that stuff and he will talk to the person he will learn under the person they started the apprenticeship system and i think that it should be studied um I, there's one of my big bros who actually said he's writing a project on the Igbo apprenticeship system i think it should be studied it is just it's just it's 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 so great it's been working for decades bringing one generation of wealthy people after another after another it is a perfect system yes it's tough because when the person comes from the village at first he's most likely sleeping in the shop and all that stuff he's not getting paid he's working for maybe four or five years without getting paid but by the time he is done he is already ready to take over the market all right so i really really like that about the ebos and i think that everybody should pay attention to that many people lose their money because they feel they have an idea this business is working well and then just put their money into the business without actually going to learn under someone all right and then if you learn under that person then you get to see the person's mistakes you get to even make mistakes 
takes under him but you are safe because you are under that person all right so it's always good that you go through apprenticeship before you really now step up and get into a business number three thing very good thing i like about the ebos is that the ebos have eyes for what sells the ebos are masters in understanding the needs of the customer all right i learned that it was an ebo man who first brought the idea of having two sim cards on the phone and he approached nokia in those days nokia was the you know kingpin in the phone industry I approached Nokia and said, why don't we put two SIM cards in one phone? And then they said, why should we put two SIM cards in one phone? When if people want to have two SIM cards, then you can buy two phones. Like it's not wise. But then before long, now it's normal. Every phone has to, some phones even have more than two SIM cards. All right. So the Ebos are very smart. They know how to recognize the needs of customers, even before the customer himself recognizes his need. It's a very major thing in entrepreneurship. It's actually one quality that I am still trying to build because it's not an it's not something that you do it's something that you become all right so it's something that everybody should really pay attention to how can you practically read your customer and know what they need even before they say it very very good strength of the ebos and i'll leave you with this last thing that an ebo man once told me an ebo businessman i was talking to one day and um, he told me he said how do you know the product that is a best seller he said the product that sells out the first time you got ten thousand copies of it ten thousand pieces of it and then boom it sells out boom it's gone that doesn't mean it's a bestseller don't go and hurriedly make another 100,000 thinking man this thing is hot it's moving no he said what is a bestseller is not what sells out once is what sells out multiple times all right so you make 10,000 of it and then you sold everything within maybe two months or something that's really good don't go and make 10,000 again make 5,000 when you see that the 5,000 went just as fast as you want as the 10,000 then you begin to really see okay I think this thing is a bestseller I think this is this thing is really good that that has really really helped me in business i learned that one from you know an, an Igbo and Igbo man so Igbo kwenu once again <laughs> congratulations to the Igbo people for being um very good very smart business people yeah my wonderful people welcome back as you have watched that video you don't listen to waiting our brother talk how intake do business and high tech learn from Igbos however this is who we are and Igbos will never change for being good for all nigerians but I don't think that a majority would have loved to be continue calling Nigerians. But however, thank you so much for the uh, wonderful content that you created about the Indibos. We love it so much. But however, the message is very clear. Call for referendum is what we need. Ibos need support in all Eastern regions. We need support. So that Lagos, they are asking Ibos to go will not be overcrowded anymore so that other ships and other business will be located in in southeast as well my people share this video and make sure say you follow this channel for more better city hearts